Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with me, Budget Gaming HD. And in today's episode, I'll be covering a two part episode, so you don't want to miss that. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with me, Budget Gaming HD. And like I've mentioned, I'll be covering two parts in this episode. One would be explaining the basics of this part. And number two, if you ever got into that unnecessary snag of losing any of your pictures, videos, documents, whatever it might be, I'll give you a quick and easy way how to recover it. So let's jump into that tutorial. As a first start for this tutorial, you want to go to start and type in CMD. It just stands for command prompt. You can right click and run as admin, but because I'm the administrator of my own PC, I'm just going to open it as is. The command that you want to run is this part. This part is just an interpreter for your computer to understand what you're trying to tell it in the disk management system. There's nothing fancy about it. However, it is a very powerful tool. So now that disk part is open, the utility that we wanted to run, you can type in disk part and then command, and it should give you a list of all the commands that are available. Now, the reason why I'm using disk part is purely for the fact that if your hard drive or your SSD became corrupted, right, it might not pick up in your computer management system. And by computer management, I mean comp management. As soon as you run it and you go to disk management, it should display all your logical disks. Now, sometimes the disk does display, however, it doesn't display in this PC, which you need to have as a first step before you can do a data recovery. So if you go here and you see it, you can right click on it and you can format it. However, I like to use the disk part utility because it's much easier. Now, the first thing I want to find is my troublesome disk. So I've got a just a normal external hard drive that I have here. Obviously, it's in working condition. This is only for a tutorial basis, but it gives you the idea. The first command that I want to run is list disk. So it will tell me disk 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now for this tutorial, I'm going to use my disk 5 because that's my external hard drive. So now I want to type in select disk Five. Disk 5 is now selected. Now, as the first one, you want to say clean. You'll see now that after that command is run, it's going to clean my external hard drive. It's unmounting the drive. It's busy cleaning it, and it will remount it for us. So after we've done the clean disk, you want to go to your unallocated space in comp management. Right-click, initialize disk. You're going to have two options. One would be for MBR, and the other one is for GPT master boot record or partition table, general partition table, right? One is for Windows master boot record, generally and your GPT style is generally for data. Now, because I'm using it for data, I'm going to partition it as a GPT style. This part is an amazing tool to use for your disks and recovery system because it's a vital part of this process. You clean the disk, you convert it. If you can't load Windows on a faulty disk, you launch this part, you select the disk that is faulty, you clean it, and then you can just type in convert MBR because we've already selected disk five or convert GPT and it will convert it for you, right? So it's a very cool tool to use. So let's quickly convert this disk or make it online for us. I'll sign H to it, it doesn't really matter. Call it new volume. Now do keep in mind when you want to do data recovery and you do see your disk here, you do not want to do these steps because you're going to lose your data eventually. And of course the program that I'm introducing to you guys, it will work on a formatted disk. It will get most of your data back, but sometimes photos and documents don't restore 100%. So if you see your disk here and you want to recover data, go to the next section in this video. However, if your disk is faulty and you want to regain your data by formatting the disk because there's nothing accessible, then you follow these steps. So now that we've got our new volume, we just lock onto H. This is a different style repair. So you can just say check disk DSK forward slash F forward slash R, right? So this will repair the disk. But I do not want to do that now because my disk is in full functional state. Now for the second part, which is called Rokuva. This is found in Hiren's boot CD. You can also download this program from the internet. It's completely free. But I've obviously got Rokuva on my PC. So I'm just going to go to Windows Tools and then run Rokuva from my Hiren's boot CD. It's under Recovery and you go to Rokuva. Just launch that. Next, so we're going to go to Other, Show All Files. In a specific place, we know already where our files are located. We want to click new volume. We want to say next and enable deep scan. Now, depending on how damaged your hard drive is, depending on the size of it, depending on all the data, there's a lot of variables. It will take a very long time to recover. I just completed a recovery from my neighbor and it took just over nine days to complete. So do keep that in mind that that's only a terabyte hard drive. Run this on a laptop, something that you can leave there to run. If your drive is in full functional state, healthy, it will be quick, but it also depends on your data size. So you'll see it's 
says stage one out of two completed. As soon as it's completed with stage one, you're going to say next and you're going to recover your data. Do not save the data on the same hard drive that you've recovered it from. Please save it on a different source, something like your C drive or your D drive, just somewhere else besides the drive that you're trying to recover. Yes, you can recover it on the same drive. However, it's not advisable as you might have severe data loss. So I hope this tutorial has helped you and please let me know in the comment section below if it did help you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really did enjoy making this episode and if you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe and hit my ding dong to stay up to date with my content and I shall see you in the next one.